In the US today, most people do not wear fur because they know that it causes suffering to animals. However, this trend of wearing fur is now increasing on an international scale. And according to the International Fur Federation, nearly two thirds of women's runway shows featured fur in 2016. You may be wondering, how does this affect cats? Unfortunately, this comes down to America's native beloved bobcat. Because of their spotty fur coat, they are being used all around the world to create numerous items of clothing. It takes 20 to 30 bobcat pelts to make a single bobcat coat, so the industry requires a steady supply. So where is all this bobcat fur coming from? Sadly, the answer is very close to home. Bobcats are regularly killed in a number of states in the US to provide for the growing international demand. Killing bobcats can be extremely lucrative. A single high quality bobcat fur coat can retail for up to $150,000. Because of this, the number of pelts exported from the US has multiplied in recent years and in 2014, an estimated 57,000 bobcat skins were exported from this country to fuel the market for fur abroad. These bobcats are killed with a steel jaw trap, a device that is banned in over 80 countries, but not the USA or Canada. These traps work in such a way that when animals such as bobcats step into the trap, these steel jaws clamp around their leg and can cause intense pain and suffering. Trappers in most states are not required to check these traps regularly. This means that animals will die of exhaustion, dehydration and starvation as a result of not being able to move. Trapping is incredibly cruel and not just bad for bobcats. Lynx are often trapped in Canada for their fur and both cougars and domestic cats are sometimes caught by trappers accidentally. In many states, trapping is completely legal and we are unfortunately seeing a growth in this trend. We need to stop this cruel and dangerous killing method now. Here at Big Cat Rescue, we love all of our bobcats, both here at our sanctuary and in the wild. And we hate the idea that they're being trapped for fur. We think that a bobcat's fur coat looks best on them. Don't be disheartened though. There are several ways that you can help. Number one, join us in taking a fur free pledge. Many fashion retailers will not tell you if they have used fake fur or real fur, so it's just easier not to buy fur at all. And in many cases, fashion retailers will dye bobcats fur so that you don't even know that it belongs to a bobcat. The easiest way to avoid wearing bobcat fur is to not wear fur at all. Number two, educate others about why trapping is so bad. Share this video with your friends and family to let them know the issues that the bobcats are currently facing. Number three, support legislation. In the next few weeks, we expect that three separate pieces of legislation will be introduced. One of these is the Refuge from Cruel Trapping Act. This bill will essentially ban the use of these traps on wildlife refuges, and this will help save the bobcat in the wild. To sign up to receive alerts and updates about these three bills, please click on the link below. This will mean that when the time comes, you will be notified about these bills so that you can contact your legislators to let them know how you feel about bobcats being trapped.